I don't even know how I would intro this, like, surprise, I have body hair. <laughs> okay, so for today's video, I do feel like I owe you guys some sort of explanation because this is very strange. I don't feel like I need to explain to you why I have my natural body hair because <laughs> why do you fart after eating beans? That's f natural but i mean i will explain the story of how we got to this point so the year is 2019 it's november i have just narrowly narrowly passed finals and it's time for vac and i wanted to be cleanly waxed for vac because bikinis skimpy outfits Bikinis and skimpy outfits. Those are the two things. Those are the two reasons why I wanted to be cleanly waxed. So I went to get my wax done. Long story short, I did end up crying during the appointment. And that was when I realized waxing is not for me. My hairs are too stubborn and my skin is too sensitive. And so it doesn't mix right. So waxing is off the table. And with shaving, every time I shave, I'll be cleanly shaven for one day. And then for the next five days, I suffer from horrible, horrible razor burn, like little red bumps everywhere on my underarms. And you know, it's just not the vibe. So I could see of my beautiful mother. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Love you queen. Last year I was getting laser hair removal and that is the only thing that's worked for me so far. Laser hair removal is absolutely fantastic. But I only went for four sessions because you're supposed to go for one every four weeks. So I went for four sessions and then I didn't finish. And so basically when I got here, I didn't have any underarm hair. But now that it's been five months and I haven't been going for laser, my hair is obviously growing back. So now it's become an option of like, do I want underarm hair or do I want to have really painful razor bumps? And the answer is armpit hair. And so I thought maybe a way that we could fix this is bleaching my underarm hair. So am I scared for this? Yes. So the first thing that I did today was I went and I bought the bleach and I was actually looking for facial hair bleach, which Walmart said that they had. But when I got there and I asked, obviously they thought I was insane. So I just ended up getting this bleach. And then while I was at Walmart, I also bought dates because when you're an adult and you have your own money, you can do things like just go to the store and buy anything you want so i just did that for fun <laughs> and now we're here and we're gonna bleach my underarm hairs so first we're gonna put the bleach on and then we're gonna do the q a because i thought just you guys watching me bleach my underarm hairs for like 20 minutes might get a little bit um boring so i thought we just do this then maybe i should read the instructions and the box also said that you cannot use this bleach to like bleach your eyebrows and your eyelashes so i took that as like a sign that i can do my underarm hairs because it didn't say i couldn't so maybe if they didn't want me to they should have put it on the instructions because i'm gonna do it okay okay rip the instructions not like we're gonna need those gloves and keep them on during the application so these gloves are always the shittiest gloves so i took matters into my own hands and got my own gloves so i guess we'll put them on right now oh the first thing i wanted the first thing i wanted to do was put like paper towel on my top because i don't have like clothes that i don't like like i don't have clothes that i just want to ruin so i thought we'd just do this I kind of look naked now, but I guess I'm not. Like, there is definitely a top underneath this. You guys saw it, right? Okay. Gloves on. Let me show you guys what's in the box. So we have A, D, C, and B. And this. Okay. Put on the gloves. Now twist off the tip of cream developer bottle A. Remove cap from bottle. Okay, remove the cap. 
shake bleach powder to loosen the contents use scissors carefully using scissors carefully open the bleach powder b and pour into develop a bottle a yep okay oh i was supposed to shake it first and then pour this into the developer a <clears throat> imagine i just messed like all of this on the floor i would have literally just ended the video <sighs> screw the flat cap onto the developer bottle a and point the bottle away from the face and shake well remove okay that felt like i went to my eyes okay remove the cap of lightning cream c c okay i've just finished editing this video and i was watching it back when i noticed that the c on the tube is backwards which means i've obviously filmed this video on my phone in selfie camera mode and i thought that the iphones automatically like switched the video but apparently not which means my first two youtube videos are like in the selfie camera mode so for the next videos i'll obviously like flip it if you guys see me looking a bit lopsided don't be distressed i just have an uneven face so enjoy the rest of the video so now we're squeezing this into that oh okay Okay, so now we have the mixture in the bottle and it says if this is your first time bleaching your hair, be sure that your hair is dry, unshampooed and detangled. Give it a good brush, make sure they're detangled. So it gives you two options lightening the lengths first and then lightening the roots but obviously this is just like root length so i guess i'm just going to apply it and also i think i'm going to do one armpits at a time because i think doing both at once might get a bit stressful so i guess we'll just start oh okay is it already burning don't lie so because i have so much of this stuff i will definitely make sure it's like completely saturated because like what else do i have to do nothing we're going to start with the normal questions like, you know, so someone asked, what is my full name? My full name is Gabriella Pinto. I am not going to give you the name that is on my birth certificate because that just feels way too intimate. Okay, next question. Someone asked how tall I am. I'm 157 centimeters or I think in feet it's like five foot two. So a little, little bit on the short side, but we all have our downfalls. <laughs> Someone asked what color are my eyes? They're hazel. <laughs> no, I don't know. I think they're probably just brown. What color are my eyes to you? I don't know. What color are my eyes to you? What What do you guys think? <gasps> it's dripping. It's dripping. It's dripping. Ah, what do I do? Okay, queen. <laughs> Drip. Someone asked, what's your favorite color? Great question. It is dark green. What languages do I speak? I speak Afrikaans and English. I am half Portuguese, but dad, if you're watching this, it is all your fault. My dad never taught me how to speak Portuguese and... Okay, I'm just gonna give them a little swirl i wish i was confident enough to rock the body hair because i really do feel like if it is my natural body hair why is it so frowned upon just because i'm a woman and that is something that i will stand with like to the end of my days i don't believe that women should be like the amount of money women spend on like body removal like no matter if it's like shaving or waxing or laser hair removal like laser hair removal is so expensive i'm so grateful for my mom for paying but like that was a crazy amount and i'm like 
if men don't have to do it, why should I? But anyways, let's get back to the questions. What type of music do I listen to? I guess it just depends on like what the scene is because my favorite going out music is techno, but I guess my overall favorite genre of music is probably alternative. What's my favorite time of year and why? My favorite time of year is winter because <laughs> I absolutely hate the summer and it's easier to dress in winter and it's easier to dress in winter, so probably winter. is done the hairs look light enough to a point where i'm happy and my skin is not burning so i'm not gonna leave it for too long so i guess i'm just gonna wipe it off and we'll see the results i'm just gonna paper towel here imagine i like wiped it off <gasps> am i a genius for a second i was like oh my goodness i hope it didn't I hope my hair's didn't fall out, but they are there. Can you see them though? Like, absolutely no, you can't because I'm a genius. I am a genius. Shut up. My mom is going to be so happy. One of the things that triggered me to do this is my mom started calling me hairy fairy. And I was like, that feels like you're like, that feels like a hate crime. To <laughs> like call me that. And then I was like, I have to make a change. Oh, I, mi I missed a few up here. A few rogue ones. A few of the outliers. That sounds like a maths term. Okay. Okay, so I'm really happy with the results. Like, that looks a lot more bearable than this to me. To me? To me? To me, bitch. To me. You know what me means? I'm talking about my damn self. I'm not talking about you. Okay. In my opinion. So I'm going to do the other arm and then we'll carry on with the Q&A. What do you do in the US as in job wise? So my job here is I'm an au pair. So I live with a host family and I look after their kids. And another question I got asked a lot was how do I afford living in the United States of America? And that's the thing, I don't afford living in America. I'm not living here by myself. I live with a family and then they pay for my essentials like my food, water, electricity, and then I get paid weekly. So it's actually not that hard to live here. All the money I make is my money, it's extra money. And yeah. What was the agency you used to become an au pair? So the agency is called Cultural Care Au Pair, I'll put it over here. That is the company that I use, they're pretty good, but one thing I can say, there is thousands of au pair companies and they're all over the world. So if you wanted to go to Paris, all you had to do was search au pairing in Paris, like on Google, and you'll get some results. What made you move to America? So in my matric year, I really had no clue what I wanted to study at university. So this was supposed to be my gap year straight after school so I could figure out what I wanted to do. So this was all supposed to be last year, but because of Corona, it got postponed to this year. But basically the whole reason why I'm here is because I don't know what I want to do with my life. So I wanted to take a year to figure it all out. And I'm blessed to have amazing parents who encouraged this year and they like really wanted me to take a year and figure out what i wanted to do so thank you mom and dad i love you guys and i appreciate you guys is living in america expensive so obviously as i said i don't pay for my normal essentials like i wouldn't be able to tell you if like the electricity bills are insane but what i can say is because i'm in washington dc which is a city it does get expensive for me to do things day to day like my favorite thing to do is to just get on the public transport and go sit somewhere and have a cup of coffee and then i like to go out and have something to eat and obviously those things add up and i feel like it's way more expensive to sit at a restaurant here than to sit at like mimos back home or like ocean basket so yeah having fun in america is expensive would you recommend moving to the usa 
So obviously I don't know what your guys' situation is at home, but in my opinion, it's such a great experience to move away from home for a year. And I mean, it's hard. It's definitely a struggle. I know a lot of you guys know that I've really been struggling being away from my family, but I think it's important. It was important for me to move away from my family because I am so dependent on my parents and you know, it's, it can't be like that forever. So I think it's important that if you have the opportunity to move away from home, it doesn't have to be the USA. Obviously, it's easy to come to America because they speak English. But if you have the opportunity to go anywhere, I, I would say do it. Definitely do it. Do you plan to stay there for a while? So as an au pair, your contract is for one year and then after the one year you can extend, but I think I'm just gonna do one year. So I got you on the 1st of February. So next year, 1st of Feb, I'm gonna be in OR Tambo. OR Tambo International Airport. <laughs> Okay, so this armpit is definitely done. I don't know why. I feel like I didn't answer as many questions for this armpit, but we're gonna remove the bleach. I am a genius. Oh, okay, just spread it everywhere. Yeah. Okay, so. The amount of pride coursing through my veins at this point was absolutely indescribable. Okay. So now that we're coming to the end of the video, the armpits are bleached and I think I did a pretty good job. I thought I'd just do one more question and I was scrolling and I saw this question and it actually, ooh, um, it actually made me kind of emotional. Um, so I just want to like answer the question last because I thought it was really important. Okay, someone asked, favorite Twilight character? <laughs> favorite Twilight character? Alice? If you have a brain, the answer's Alice. That is all I really have to say. The question did make me emotional because it's like, why is that even a question? It's Alice. The answer's Alice. <laughs> okay guys, so we officially made it to the end of the video. You guys made it. I know this was a bit of a random video, but I definitely wanted to do a Q&A so that you guys knew who was behind the camera. You guys knew a little bit more about me, but I also just didn't want to sit here and like answer the questions and be all awkward. So I thought I'd just kill two birds with one stone and do this. I really hope I answered some of you guys' questions. I know I missed a couple of questions, but if I answered all of them, we would be here for maybe half an hour and I don't think you guys would enjoy that. So. I answered what I could and if there's anything that you desperately want to know, you can always just DM me on Instagram and I can just answer some questions for you. Thank you guys so much for watching my YouTube video. Also quickly before I go, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the support you showed me on my first video. It's so motivating to see that you guys actually enjoyed it, I hope. I hope you're not lying to me. So I'll definitely carry on doing this, so I'll see you guys next Saturday. Bye! Outro, 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 outro.